And welcome to Paula Armstrong Ceramics. So for this video I thought I would go with another fairly simple make but with a Halloween theme. So I'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot pumpkin that can also be used as a tea light holder. So we're going to carve the face in and put a tea light inside so that it can shine the same way as the pumpkins do that we use for Halloween. I hope you enjoy! Okay, to make your pumpkin tea light, we just need a few simple tools. We've obviously got your clay. Um, I've got a cube of clay that's going to make the main pumpkin and then a little bit of extra for a bit of a stalk. A modeling tool, pottery knife, and um, a rubber kidney, which we might use, we might not. Um, you can smooth with your fingers if you don't have one of these. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start by turning the cube into a ball. So if you just press the corners in, try not to fold the clay over. Um, so just press everything in and then you can start got any creases you can just smooth over those sections okay we're gonna cut this in half you have a cheese wire you can use your cheese wire for this otherwise you can just use your knife okay now we're gonna do two bowls and then put them together to make a hollow ball so you start by putting one half in the palm of your non dominant hand Take the pad of your thumb and press into the centre. And we're going for a thickness. It's probably about finger thickness left at the bottom there. And then if you tilt slightly and press towards the edge, turn it and press, turn it and press and go all the way around until you have like a daisy pattern on the inside like that and then you're going to just balance the half in the palm of your hand and gently use the pad of your thumb to smooth the inside because this is going to be a tea light you're going to see the inside so we want this nice and smooth this also helps even out the thickness around the whole of this half because where we've pinched it some bits were thicker and some bits were thinner this helps to even it out if it's wet clay don't press too hard I shall make it very thin and we don't want it too thin. This is a pumpkin, so it's got a bit of flesh to it. Um, we also need this top edge because we're going to put two pieces together. So we need something for the edges to stick together too. 
and we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other half. Although you need to bear in mind that this half is going to go on top of that one. Um, so try not to make it too big or too small. Once we have the two halves ready to join together, we're going to score the top edges that we're going to stick together. I'm going to cover this in slip. Now we're going to put these two together. Okay. If you hold this between your hands and very gently use your fingertips to just push the two edges together to seal the shape back into a ball shape. And then we're going to blend over this join. Really scrape across it so that the clay is going from one side to the other and seals that join up. You can use the rubber kidneys if you have one for doing this and just smooth over the surface like so you can use your fingers and just smooth or you can use the sides of your tools and smooth. I quite like the rubber kidneys. The clay's a little bit less sticky with it. Now, at this point, with it sealed, you can gently tap to get the shape back if for it's gone flat or altered for any reason. Now pumpkins aren't necessarily round so you can make this whatever shape you want. It's going to need a flat bottom um, which it will probably do on its own fairly naturally just as you place it down um, on the table or, the, or your board. So we now need to turn this into a pumpkin kind of shape. Now the stalk is going to go in the top, so I'm going to gently stretch this a little bit so that it drops down slightly 
in the middle. To give me a place to put the stalk. It slightly alters the shape as well to make it a little bit more pumpkin like. You can see it's flattened it slightly. So we are then going to use the side of this tool and the actual middle handle and we're going to start creating the dips in our pumpkin. Don't make them all the same width. Do some slightly smaller and some slightly wider. And then we're going to build on this with our fingers and just smooth and round these edges. pumpkin shape. So I'm going to make it stand up just a little bit more rather than being quite so flat because it's going to have a tea light in it. I want it to be a little bit taller and then where the stalk's going to go just there. Okay. Now for the stalk, I'm just going to roll and then I'm going to pull and twist. Score. Okay, get a slip. And then give it a bit of a twist. Make sure it's a nice twisty kind of stalk shape for our pumpkin. And that's our pumpkin shape now. So now we've got to decide what's going to be our front. I think I'm going to go with this one over here. Yeah, we're good there. And I've got 
to decide what kind of face we want. I think I'm going to go fairly traditional and have nice triangle eyes. Uh, triangle nose. And a big, wide mouth with a few teeth. So this now, before I actually cut that through, this clay is quite wet. So if I cut it now, it's all going to collapse. So this needs to dry for a little bit until it's strong enough to hold when I do the cutting. So I'm going to leave this for a little bit and come back. Okay, so my pumpkin's dried off a little bit. So I'm going to cut out the face. Once it's dried a little bit more, you can go in and tidy a bit more. Um, the same as you would basically if you were carving a pumpkin. Go in and get rid of all the little bits. And sharpen all the corners and the edges that you want to. Okay, so that's our face. Now, because this is for a tea light, we need... A space a big hole at the back that we're going to be able to fit a tea light in through just like that just remember clay shrinks um, so whatever size you cut this hole know that it's going to get a bit smaller um, when you're going to actually put your tea light in. So make sure you give yourself plenty of room. Now you should be able to see the join on the inside and get in there now to do a little bit of tidying up and blending. So that that join disappears and it looks like one solid piece and there we have it a little bit of extra tidying up and there's our pumpkin tea light holder well i hope you like that and i hope you enjoy this one it's a nice simple fun halloween make um and I will see you again soon. Bye.